Hi everyone with the spirit of learning welcome back to my video in YouTube my name is Angga Rizky from Indonesia and how are you today I hope you're doing very well okay so today's video we're gonna talk about the difference between native and hybrid apps and which which one we should take to starting our journey as the mobile developer okay so native is the application that written with the java or with the flutter but hybrid you can do that with the react native or also you can use web view from uh, the, the website the website that converted to the mobile application with the some tools that make the application to become web view right so which one you should take as a starting to journey because sometimes we don't know as the junior or beginner right so first of all if you're going to use react native probably uh, you're gonna make the hybrid apps that can root both in the website and in the mobile it's still hybrid but if you're doing with the java flutter or swift for the hex code probably you're going to use native and yeah there's there's a pros and cons between those uh, kind of type so recently i've been asking to a few of my friends they are android developer expert they are ios developer yeah i, I was asking that i want i want to know between the native and hybrid because sometimes we got different point of view right so why why don't i ask the master <laughs> yeah so if you are using native it will affect to the performance so and then native is supported by google or apple okay and then native is difficult for the web developer because web developer uh, previously was using the javascript but native you have to learn java you have to learn swift yeah so that's different things right and then you have to learn language yeah like i said previously but if you are using hybrid you just need to doing one design one coding and then you, you are able to compile to both platform such as ios or android so with the react native you just need one time to coding to build your application and then compile to the Android and iOS but the cons is slower than native why because not interacting with the native code because if you are using the hybrid previously you are using JavaScript and it compiled to the Java and then it compiled to the native right but if you are using Java from Java it's direct to the native so you don't have to compile back and back again and forth right so you see the steps much longer than the native from java direct to the native so you don't have to use javascript but you have to learn java but if you if you were web designer if you were front-end developer i think i suggest you to use hybrid because you don't have to learn language if you feel so lazy but if the client or requesting you to use the native then you have to uh, learn language such as java or swift right so yeah that's the difference uh yeah it's it's up to you are you web developer or are you mobile developer if you want to become the real mobile developer i suggest you to learn java and to learn swift for the ios but if you don't want to then that's that's fine you can still use uh, React Native because React Native is using uh, is using a JavaScript. So maybe you do familiar with the JavaScript, right? And then besides that, uh, React Native able to compile for the iOS and Android, and that's nice for the new value. But 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 you have to consider the performance as well. So the conclusion, it depends on you again. Are you web developer or are you going to be a real mobile developer either ios or android if you don't want to learn language java swift you can use hybrid react native because using javascript but if the client was demands you 
to learn about Java and Swift, why not to learn? It, it just invest to yourself. We don't know. Maybe in the two years or three years later, we have a big project that using Java or Swift. So, starting from now, you can learn any language that related to your career. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it was useful. Please correct me if I was wrong because we're still learning, right? And yeah, nice to meet you from Indonesia. Don't forget to like, comment, and share with your friends. Alright, so see you the next time. Have a nice day. Bye.